हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज लेक्चर ऑफ स्लिट लैम्प इन दिस पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फोकसिंग ऑफ स्लिट लैम्प एंड प्रॉपर पोजिशनिंग ऑफ पेशेंट ड्यूरिंग एग्जामिनेशन द फर्स्ट थिंग यू हैव टू डू इज टू अनलॉक द स्लिट लैम्प सो दैट इट कैन मूव इन द डिजायर डायरेक्शन इन विच यू वॉन्ट बाई मूविंग विद द जोस्टिक एंड आफ्टर दैट स्विच ऑन द स्लिट लैम्प बाई स्विचिंग ऑन द पावर बटन एडजस्ट द मैग्निफिकेशन बाई रोटेटिंग द मैग्निफिकेशन डायल ऑन द स्लिट लैम्प टू टेन एक्स और यू कैन यूज सिक्सटीन एक्स ऑल्सो द मैग्निफिकेशन शुड नॉट बी टू लो और टू हाई नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू फोकस बोथ द आई पीसेस थ्रू विच पेशेंट आई इज ऑब्जर्व बाई द एग्जामिनर द आई पीस प्रोवाइड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव एक्स मैग्निफिकेशन दीज आर द टू आई पीसेस दिस इज द लेफ्ट वन एंड दिस इज द राइट वन देर इज ए स्केल ऑन द आई पी which have zero mark in the middle on the right side of zero there is a plus mark which is used to correct the hyperopic refractive error of examiner's eye and towards the left uh, there is a minus sign which is used to correct the myopia of examiner eye in case of emetropic examiner the pointer should be placed on zero so in this manner we have to focus both right and left eye piece accordingly for proper clear observation of patient's eye so in this way both eye piece can be focused for proper and precise examination of patient's eye now the next most important step is to adjust the uh, interpupillary distance by rotating these knobs which houses both the eye piece lens inward for short pupillary distance and outward for wide ipd or interpupillary distance this is the focusing rod which is used as a target to focus both the eye pieces of slit lamp before examining the patient it is inserted on the slit lamp on the coaxial arm of slit lamp properly adjusted on the mount so that its plane surface should be perpendicular to the observation arm or perpendicular to the lens of observation arm now when we switch on the slit lamp we can clearly see the target that we have to focus through the eye pieces individually now we can see both eye piece and the target in the video Let's suppose that our examiner is emetropic. So when we rotate the eyepiece dial towards a zero, as you can see, the target is very crisp and clear. This is the final point of focus. There is one more method which is very common and very practical and easy to use. Just you can use any piece of paper with the text and attach to the headrest. move the slit lamp towards the forward direction just slightly more than half fade distance then switch on the slit lamp and adjust the beam of slit by rotating the knob so that it can be easily focused on any text written on the paper then rotate the knob of eye piece until the text get focused suppose or examiner is emetropic then it will focus on the zero mark so the target text through the ip is get focus as we rotate the ip is not towards the zero because our examiner is emetropic so it gets crisp and clear towards the zero mark which is the final position of now the next most important step is to adjust the ipd for binocular single vision and better stereopsis during the examination when the ipd is not adjusted according to the examiner we perceive uh, or examiner perceive two or uh, different targets through the ipd after adjusting the ipd the target appears to be single through both eye pieces 
the next most important step is to adjust the height of slit lamp according to the sitting position of the patient the height of slit lamp should be adjusted according to the patient and the patient is rested on the chin rest and head rest and adjust the knob so that this black mark should align to the temporal canthus of the eyeball and this is the proper positioning of the patient on the slit lamp and after addressing the patient you can start your uh, eye examination by using different type of illuminations hope you like the information provided in this video please like share subscribe and comment and get in touch we will come with the next part very soon